Hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitz the Tower. Um, by the way, in my intros, I noticed that a lot of you guys were getting, like, really confused on what my intro- and what I'm saying in my intros. Um, I'm saying, um, hey, yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bullets Lord Tower. You know, Bullets Lord, that's- that's my YouTube name. Chosen completely arbitrarily, it has no meaning. Anyways, yeah, this is Tower Vlog. 22, I think that's pretty cool. The 22nd installment in the Tower Vlog series. Um, I realize I haven't have updated you guys in my life in a while. Um, so I'm gonna be telling you guys about that kind of stuff. As you can all see, I'm wearing this this sweater that I found. It's kind of baggy, um, but that's all right. Um, because it's like it's literally freezing. Well, I'm freezing. You see, the weird thing is, is that like I'm going to school, right? And I'm wearing my like my school jersey. But like the big jersey, because like, I used to wear the jacket, now I just wear the jersey. Like, because like that's way warmer, because it's like cotton stuff. And like, I'm literally shivering, and I'm wearing like my thermal stockings as well. Um, and like, I'm like shivering and freezing, right? And then I'm like asking a bunch of other people, like, are you cold? Why are you, why are you not shivering? And then they just like, tell like, I'm, I'm like burning hard. I'm not even cold. What's, what's up with you? And I'm like, huh? Why well, isn't everyone else cold? Um, but anyway, see, I'm wearing this thing now, and it sucks, because it's literally not even winter yet. We still have, like, one month of fall left here in New Zealand. Um, that's alright, I'll get through it. Um, anyways, what's happened recently? Oh uh, yeah, um, I started my fashion design class yesterday, did I tell you guys about that? That's pretty cool. Um, what's so called today? I was sitting in my fashion design class, um, and there was like these boys next to me and they kept making weird noises and then they asked me for a pen and I was just like, okay, yeah, you can borrow one of my pens. And so I gave them one of my pens um, and then they he gave it back to me and he was just like, uh, I think there's something wrong with your pen. Like this was like a, a, like a lots of minutes later and then I was just like, huh, what? And then I like pressed it and then like it just it fell apart. Um, so yeah, and, and then he asked for another pen, and I was just like, eh, no, no, sorry. And then I pat my pen skirts away, because, yeah. And, like, I do feel kind of bad for this, um, fashion designer teacher lady, because, like, she seems really nice, but there are a lot of disruptive kids in class, and that's sad. Um, oh yeah, guys, you know that one Hello Kitty spray? Like, there's a lot of different Hello Kitty sprays. But, like, last year, I remember, like, all the kids used to have the Hello Kitty sprays. And, like, they would all spray them around. And, like, it smelled, like, our classroom, it just always smelled like table grapes. And feet, but mainly table grapes. Um, and that, that, I, I, they, they never told me what colour the Hello Kitty, um, spray was. Because, like, I love table grapes. And so I desperately needed the Hello Kitty spray. And so a couple of months ago, um, I went to the warehouse. I mean, I know, I went to Kmart, yeah, Kmart, and I saw the Hello Kitty spray. There was, like, a bubblegum one, which was pink, and a grape one, which was purple. I decided to buy the grape one because, well, I mean, table grapes, that's grape flavor. Like, that's grape, right? The the purple one. I bought it. It, it, it did not smell like grapes. It smelled more like bubblegum. Um, I still have it, it's on my dresser right now and I use it a lot because it smells delicious because, like, I mean, it's not table grapes but it's like bubblegum-ish and that's nice. Um, but today, as I was hanging out with my best friend Azaria, like, we were chatting, right? And then she pulled out, like, the pink bubblegum Hello Kitty spray and she sprayed it and I was just like, wait a minute, that's table grapes. And I, and she was just like, yeah, it smells like grapes. And I was just like, it's the bubblegum one, and it's pink. Pink is my favorite color, um, but that's all good. She told me that she pulled it from the warehouse, and the cool thing is, um, this Sunday, my mom and I were going to go to the warehouse to buy some makeup, thermal stockings, and Hello Kitty spray, which I am totally looking forward to. I'm going to buy the bubblegum one. It's pink. It's going to match my room, and it's going to be grape flavored. I'm so excited. Speaking of things I'd like to do on Sunday, um, I'd really like to go to the, um, my local Asian grocery store. Because lately I've been thinking about this one drink, like, I've, this is one of my favourite drinks. I haven't had it in years, um, aside from Monster and Soda and Milkshake, but it's called, um, Mogu Mogu, but, like, the lychee flavoured one. It's literally the best, because, like, it's, like, it's pink, 
right? And like, it has like these little gummy things in there and it tastes like lychee. I've never had a lychee, but it tastes delicious. The drink does. Um, and I really want to have it again because I've had it in years. Like, I used to get like the massive like liter bottles, right? And I would just drink it. None of my family, I don't think they like it because... I mean, it's, I, I feel as though, like, the first time I tried it, and, like, whenever I do get a bottle of it, right, I feel as though it's more of, a, an, like, a, an acquired taste. Because, like, um, at first I used to think that it was, like, dust, but then afterwards I was just like, wait a minute, no, this is delicious. And I love it. I, I love it. And I need more of it. You know what? Yeah, it may have a lot of calories in there, but that's all good. Like, I told my mom about the coldness, right? And, like, all of the other weird stuff that I've been experiencing. Um, and she said, yeah, that's because you don't have any meat on your bones. You are like a frail Victorian child. And I was just like, oh, wait a minute. No, because I do, right? Like, I, I, I have meat on me. <sighs> I mean, yeah, I am freezing. But, like, I mean, come on, that's nothing to be worried about. So yeah, I'll be fine. And you know what? Yeah, having a light, uh, having a nice lychee sugary drink that I haven't had in years, it would be delicious. And so I really want to um get some more mogu mogu, and I'll be looking forward. To oh, yeah, also from the Asian grocery store, it's like these these grape jellies. I love everything grape flavored. As I mentioned, I literally just like a couple of minutes ago. Um, lychee, peaches, and grape flavored things. I love them all. Do I like the actual thing? With grapes, I like actual table grapes. But like with peaches, peaches, are, and I've never tried lychee. But the flavours of those things and other consumables is delicious. I think that Monster Energy should make lychee flavoured drinks. That would be cute. Like they they already have like a bunch of pink cans, which I, I'm not, I, that, that isn't a bad thing. It's just that we maybe they could have like an extra variety of like pink cans. Because I mean, what? We have Ultra Rosa. We have Ultra Strawberry Dreams, we have Pipeline Punch, we have Mixed Punch, uh, what else do we, wait, what did I say already? Wait, Ultra Rosa, Ultra Peachy Keen, Ultra Strawberry Dreams, Pipeline Punch, Mixed Punch, and there are probably some other pink cans, I forgot. But yeah, then they could have a lychee one and that could also be pink. And because pink, it's so cute, it's the cutest colour, and I love it. Oh yeah, guys, also at school, we, I had product design class, and we're designing a amplifier, a passive amplifier. I think that's really cool. I've already designed mine, even though we're only like two, like, or three lessons of the way in. Um, what's it called? So you see, I'm, I, the, the teacher guys, he, they, both of, there's like two of them, and like, they keep telling me, wow, Tao, you've already rushed ahead and done like, the work. And I was just like, yeah, this is just my normal pace. Because, like, you see, a lot of the time it functions right. Oh, yeah, guys, that's right. Also, um, uh, so you see, my, with, with Azara and that, she has, she bought this heart rate thing. Or well, actually, her doctor gave her this heart rate thing. And we were measuring our heart rates together. Um, that was so fun. We spent, like, the, for the last few periods, I mean, during breaks, we've been measuring our heart rates. Um... Her heart rate is incredibly high. That it's like one eighty nine or something. But my one, we measured my one, and it was like like forty. And like we googled a normal heart rate for thirteen year old females, and it said anywhere between like seventy or like sixty and a hundred is normal. So um yeah, oopsie daisy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all those updates. Bye-bye.